everyone. My name is Timothy Ellery. I'm an enterprise solutions consultant in the ITX practice. And today I'd like to take a few minutes and just walk you through a Zoom application that we built as part of the SC Innovation Lab. Now we've all started to see just how significant the widespread adoption of the Zoom platform has been, especially to enable remote workforces. And with that level of adoption, more and more organizations are looking for solutions to give them intelligent insights into not just Zoom as a service, but the performance across their account. This application provides a number of tools that empower an organization to more effectively manage the Zoom service across a number of metrics, such as service performance, alert and incident response, license consumption, configuration management, and much more. Here we have the Zoom application loaded within our SC Innovation Lab instance. And you'll see here on the left in the navigator, some of the capability of this Zoom application show up. You'll see it broken down into two sections where we have configuration item data, where we're pulling in relevant data from our Zoom account, things such as rooms, the locations that they reside in, and the devices that sit within those rooms. We pull that into the CMDB, and we have here in the navigator a way to navigate to those items. Further down, you'll see this section called Zoom Monitor. And here we have a list of tables and dashboards and a number of other modules that contain analytical data metric data from our Zoom account. Let's start there. So here on the right, you'll see this dashboard called Zoom Metrics. It's broken down into four tabs. And here we're pulling a significant number of metrics against our Zoom account, things such as open alerts across the Zoom infrastructure. Further down, you'll see things such as global service status. And here we're monitoring and reporting on the health of the Zoom infrastructure, not just our account, but Zoom in its entirety. We're also reporting on daily meeting satisfaction trend, room issues, and meeting client feedback, where you have the number of participants and the types of issues that they're reporting. In the account utilization tab, we're reporting on Zoom license consumption across our base plan, our room plan, the amount of storage we're utilizing, participant metrics, and other metrics such as the number of new users added to the account today. You'll also see key Zoom room metrics around the number of active alerts per room. Also the types of devices being used in the Zoom room. And in the webinar metrics tab, here we're giving insight to hosts of webinars and the number of absentees that were registered for the webinar but did not attend. Key insights that we can report on and automate against. Let's shift focus and look at the event management integration now. Before you'll remember that I mentioned that we're reporting on alerts coming in against our Zoom account, but we're also reporting on alerts coming in against Zoom as a service globally. So let's look at that data. If I shift focus over here to the alerts tab, you'll see a list of all the alerts coming into event management against Zoom. And if you look at the source tab, you'll see that a few of them have come in against the Zoom service globally, not just our account. Here in these examples, and this is live data, Yesterday, Zoom reported an issue with Facebook integration. Before that, it reported an issue against cloud recording. So we're reporting on that data. Alerts are being triggered and incidents are being created. Now, as you can imagine, we can automate against that data. We can react to it. We can assign it to teams and notify our employee base. Underneath that, you'll see alerts coming in against our Zoom account specifically, where we have association with the configuration items I talked about earlier here being the Zoom rooms themselves. So we have a list of Zoom rooms and the alerts being triggered against them and alerts being created and opened in our system within event management. Now, because we're taking advantage of event management, we can utilize operator workspace. Let's shift over to operator workspace. Here you can see that we're representing all of our Zoom room infrastructure as services within the workspace and more importantly, their health. If I take a look at a few, you'll see here we have one of the Zoom rooms. In this instance, it's building A out in Paris and the associated alerts that have been created against that service. If we take a look at one of those alerts, here you'll see that particular alert and the associated incident that was created for that alert against this room. Here's that incident as well with the details. And remember, we're not only reporting on the health of our Zoom account, but Zoom as a service itself. So when those alerts come in, they also can be viewed with an operator workspace. Here's one for example. This Zoom alert came in yesterday against the Zoom service, and it was specifically around 
their Facebook integration. Now, when that alert got triggered against the Zoom global service, it came into our platform, an alert was created, and an incident was created. Now, with that data, we can start to react to it. Considering the high consumption rate of Zoom as a service across an organization, well, wouldn't it be nice to inform your employee base when that service is being affected by an outage? And in this case, with this setup, with this application that we built, you can very easily do that. Let's wrap up by looking at a few additional capabilities of this application that we built. If you remember before, I talked about how we're integrating back into the CMDB. So if we look at some of that data, here is an example of a room that's represented in the CMDB. Relevant data for that room, the relationships between that room and the location that it resides in, and the devices that sit within that room. You'll also see alert data represented on screen associated with that configuration item. We also have a dependency view here that we can take a look at. Because we're capturing those relationships, we can look at that dependency view. Another piece of functionality that we brought in was to say, does this instance have service mapping enabled as a plugin? And if it does, let's take advantage of that. So we check for that plugin enabled. And if so, we build out a very simple hierarchy of that Zoom account with the top level entry point being the URL. In our instance, it's servicenow.zoom.us and then the top level locations associated with that account. You'll see an impact tree for those locations that are tied to service groups within event management. So you start to see some more relevant data. Lastly, because we're integrating back into the CMDB for room locations, we tie into native CMN location objects within platform, and you can represent those visually in a location map. So think about the use case maybe from a NOC, where they want to visualize the health of their Zoom global infrastructure on screen, maybe on a, on a panel in front of their NOC. All right, that wraps up the main review of the, the primary features and the functionality of the Zoom application that we built. Now in summary, we're taking advantage of multiple aspects of our platform. Through the dashboards, we're taking advantage of performance analytics to report on and analyze and automate against all these metric data important to our account and across the Zoom service itself. We're taking advantage of event management to alert on that data and react to it and automate against it, against our account and the global service itself. We're taking advantage of things like operator workspace to give a visual representation of the health of those rooms within our account and the underlying alerts and incidents that have been created. We're taking advantage of the CMDB integration and our ability to represent relationships across that data and visualize alerts against those CIs. And lastly, we're taking advantage of native integration into CMN location data so we can visualize the health of our Zoom infrastructure in a global map. Thank you everybody for giving me the opportunity to run through this application today.